Hey guys, welcome to Imminent Threat Solutions. Today we're going to be continuing our hitches with the clove hitch. It's one of my personal favorites, so let's get right into it. All right guys, let's get into how to tie the clove hitch. So first off, you're going to take the line across the post. You're going to wrap around the object, come across over the standing part of the rope, and back around the object one more time, and then tuck it underneath that crossover point, securing it like so. So that is one method to tie the clove hitch, and I will demonstrate that one more time. So again, around the object you're tying onto, across the standing part of the wrap you just made, and around underneath that crossover point. And that is one method for tying the clove hitch. A second method for tying the clove hitch is to create a cue in the line, which I've demonstrated before for things like the bow line and you're going to wrap around. So this is for the situation that you might have a cleat or a some type of bumper on a dock that you're tying a boat to. So you would take that cue, you would go around the object like so, then you would take another twist like this and wrap across the top. Tightening as you go, creating that same wrapping with the clove hitch. So one more time, cue over, twist and back across the top, creating the clove hitch. So a couple limitations on the clove hitch. Uh, it's commonly used to tie off to a post like this. In the olden days, it was used to tie horses up to a post. You may still do that nowadays. But if you're going to use it for heavier objects like a boat or something like that, you need to be aware that it can fail under heavy load. So one thing people do a lot or that I've heard is that people use this in climbing is kind of a temporary anchor point or to attach temporarily to an anchor point and I stress the word temporarily. Um, I don't do that, I don't recommend it just because for the fact that you may mistake that temporary tie-in for a, a legit tie-in and actually use that as a life-saving uh, knot and it's not. So just to be aware of that. So it is easy to untie too so once you have the clove hitch tied um, a check to make sure you have it tied right as well as being able to untie it is to just grab that that wrap over point in the center and pull up and it should release right away. So that's your check. So again, that's how to tie the clove hitch. Thanks for watching the ITS Knot of the Week. Be sure to check out ITSTactical.com to learn more or click the description below to get a direct link to the site.